And now, to present the RSA Conference 2024 Award for Excellence in the Field of Mathematics, please welcome Adi Shamir. So I'm here to uh, present the uh, RSA Mass Award to two wonderful researchers uh, who really revolutionized the uh, field of lattice-based cryptography. As you know, uh, NIST, for example, had uh, selected mostly lattice-based crypto systems as the uh, candidates for post-quantum uh, secure uh, cryptography, if and when RSA will be broken by a quantum computer. And uh, um, I'm going to, uh, and uh, it's going to be uh, a double treat because this time it is uh, given simultaneously to two researchers who can be viewed as, as you say it uh, here in San Francisco, uh, parent one and parent two of the field. Uh, so um, I'm uh, very happy to. Uh, 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 mentioned that the award is given to Oded Regev, who unfortunately couldn't be here, and to Craig Gentry, whom I invite to come here. And I'll just say a few words about their achievements. Uh, so Oded Regev in 2005 uh, turned the loosely defined notion of what does it mean for a crypto system to be based on uh, lattices into a very precise definition. Uh, he introduced the security assumption uh, called the LWE, uh, learning with errors. He proved some of the most important uh, reductions and uh, uh, security proofs based on this uh, assumption, and uh, he introduced uh, the first successful um, uh, crypto systems, which are based on LWE. Uh, four years later, Craig Gentry uh, um, surprised everyone by solving a 30-year-old uh, open problem, which was first posed by Ron Rivest, Len Adelman, and Mike Dertuzos who suggested in 79 that uh, it would be extremely interesting if you could operate on encrypted data without having to decrypt it first. So it was enough in order to show how to add encrypted numbers and get the encryption of the um, uh, summation and how to encrypt, uh, how to take two encrypted numbers and compute their product. If you can do these uh, two things, then uh, you could um, solve the problem of doing any kind of computation. But for 30 years, no one had any idea how to actually achieve it. And in 2009, Craig uh, managed to uh, solve this problem, and uh, he invented fully homomorphic encryption, which is a very important tool, uh, both in theory and in practice. And uh, I wanted to give you this award. Yeah. Thank you very much. Now, there is supposed to be a picture. <laughs> and usually, I uh, ask the recipients of the uh, Math uh, Prize Award uh, for some fun facts to share with you. So I talked with Oded Regev, and we were sketching our heads to try to find a fun fact. And we discovered that we were born on the same day, July 6, not the same year, but uh, the same day of the year. So that's the fun fact about Oded Regev. And then when I uh, talk with Craig Gentry, he told me that he's an enthusiastic dancer and he even agreed to have a small jig here. So <laughs> <laughs> thank you very much. Yeah. You want Thanks. to say a few words? Yes. Um, yeah, I had this crazy idea that I was going to come on actually to the, uh, the song Intergalactic by the Beastie Boys. You know, it has like sort of a you know, a nice lead in, and then it, begin, it sort of ends with, you know, another dimension, another dimension. So anyway, lattice-based crypto is all about, uh, you know, like 500 dimensional uh, lattices, you know, so. Uh, um, uh, so I, I, want, I sort of want to start off by thanking sort of the progenitors of, of lattice-based cryptography. One of them is Oded Regev, who 
Um, you, as you said, in 2005, uh, came up with the uh, cryptographic assumption that lattice-based cryptography uses, which is uh, the learning with errors problem, uh, and the ring learning with errors problem. Uh, and he has predecessors, you know, like Itai Dwork and the uh, Entru guys. Um, so there's the Entru crypto system. So, so uh, there was all this activity uh, in lattice-based crypto uh, before I came along. Um, and then, you know, when I came along, I, I guess the first thing I want to, uh, first main person I want to um, uh, appreciate as my advisor, this was actually my thesis on fully homomorphic encryption. So, uh, you know, in the PhD orientation, he said, uh, you know, if any of you guys, you know, solves this problem, then you can basically just sort of, you know, drive through and pick up your, your PhD. So, so that, was my, that was sort of my plan. I mean, I didn't take it completely literally, but it, it sort of worked out that way. Um, and finally, I want to thank um, all the people uh, that have been working on homomorphic encryption since uh, my initial work. I mean, there have been four generations of homomorphic encryption schemes, and there's been a lot of activity in standardization, and uh, I just really appreciate it uh, bringing that to fruition. So thank you. <laughs>